My name is Ellen Podgore. I'm a law professor at Stetson University College of Law, and the book that I'm a co-author on is International Criminal Law Cases and Materials. It's a case book, and I co-authored it initially with Ed Wise, who's now deceased, and now I have a wonderful co-author in Roger Clark from Rutgers Camden. The focus of the book is about um, international criminal law, but international criminal law is a word that has so many different meanings. And so what's very unique about this particular book is we take transnational law and international criminal law and we put it together in a very concise book. And the book offers to law students and to the professors who are teaching with this book a myriad of different subjects within international criminal law. It's not only focused on the um, international tribunals, but it also offers the entire uh, transnational side of international criminal law. I think one of the things that's really unique about our book is that we have a breadth of coverage that is very different. And it, is, it really allows a student to learn the transnational and the international criminal law from many different perspectives. Let me give you some examples. We start out in the initial chapter with definitions and we provide a general application so that the students can learn just an overview of international, international and transnational, the definition of all the terms, and sort of the lay of the land. In the part two of the book, we go into specific applications. And in this portion of the book, we cover many different crimes. So for example, one of the hot topics right now is Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. And we cover Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. We have a chapter on computer crimes. We do torture. We do many different specific applications where a student can learn all about that specific application in the context of international criminal law. Part three of the book goes one step further. It talks about procedure. In order to do an international crime, you have to be able to get the defendant to the country. You have to be able to get the evidence there. And so what we do is we discuss all the different things about extradition, about luring, abduction, the cases that go with it, the notes and questions. That's what's unique about this book is we take that transition from not only the specific applications of crimes, but then go into the procedure. And then the final part of the book, we talk about all the tribunals. We go through Nuremberg, Tokyo. We talk about the um, Yugoslavia tribunal. We talk about, of course, the Rome statute. We have the entire Rome statute in the book. So it's all there for the students, and yet it's very concise. It's not one of these uh, books that are, well, you have to have a lot of muscles to carry. <laughs> We have two things that I think are really unique about this book. One is, of course, we have a teacher's manual. Well, every book has teacher's manuals these days. Our book not only tells you about the cases and gives you some notes and questions that you can ask as a professor using this book, but more importantly, we have problems. We take actual problems, and some of these problems come from cases that are out there or from different scenarios that you read about in the newspaper, and it gives the professor the opportunity to present it in a contextual setting. And so they can use the problem, work through the problem, and actually have the students dissect a problem with the cases that they have just read. And the problems are easily replicated so that they can pass them out to students, uh, or they can just use them as their own materials. The second thing that we have that's also extremely unique is we have a web page for the course. If you go to internationalcriminallawbook.com, you will see that we have resources available for the book and for teachers. So for example, if a teacher wants PowerPoints, they can go to this web page and um, obtain some of the PowerPoints that some of us use. Old exams, syllabi. I have a syllabi for a two-credit course, a three-credit course, using this particular book. 
And I think the most unique part of what you'll find on this webpage is we have resources. So new materials that come up, we put it right out there. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, have I kept up with the subject? Am I prepared for class? All you have to do is go to the web page. We have every torture memo there. We have all the things you can't fit into a book that a student might want to use there. And there's one other thing on the web page. We also have a whole listing of websites. So if you're teaching the course as a seminar and you want to give an assignment to the students or they have to pick paper topics, this is a great place for them to start. Let me just say that we always welcome suggestions. Roger and I really appreciate hearing from all of you out there. So if you have any thoughts about the book, anything you'd like to see included, any changes that you think we ought to make, if you by chance find something we made a mistake on, tell us, don't hesitate. And we welcome any thoughts that you have and we hope you enjoy using it. It's worked very well for me. I enjoy teaching the course and I hope you have as much success with it as we have had, so thank you. <laughs>